Hi, I'm Nancy with Red Leaf Digi Scrapping. Thanks for joining me. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create folded corners on your scrapbook paper or on your photographs. So I have the scrapbook paper open on my screen that I want to fold the corner on. Now if you look over in the layers palette, it's showing up as a background layer and I want to change that to a regular layer. So to do that, just right click on the gray area anywhere on that layer, click layer from background and I'm just going to hit OK to leave layer 0 as the name. So now you can see it's showing up as a regular layer. The next step is to select the corner that we want to fold down. So over in the toolbox, if you go down to the lasso tool, click the left mouse button, hold it down and you'll get this little flyout menu that shows some additional tools that are hidden in behind. I want to use the polygonal lasso tool. Now to select the corner that's going to be folded, I'm just going to go outside of the scrapbook paper and click once. And you can see that that's set sort of an anchor point. And I'm just going to drag out. Now you don't need to hold the mouse button down to do this. Just click at the corners. So I'm going to drag out to about there. That's a good size corner to fold. Click once more. Bring it over and click to set that corner and then bring it down to my original starting point and click one more time. And now you can see that that little corner is actually selected. Next we want to get that onto its own layer. So to do that, we're going to do Edit Cut and that actually cuts the piece out and then Edit Paste. And it might be a little bit difficult to see depending on the paper that you're using. But you can see that the corner came in kind of in the middle of the paper here. So the next thing I'm going to do just to make that corner easier to see is I'm going to reduce the opacity of the main paper layer. So if you click on layer 0 or the whatever you renamed your layer 2 and then under opacity click the drop down arrow and just slide that slider bar back a little bit until you're seeing a definite difference between the corner and the rest of your paper. And now you'll be able to see what you're doing a little bit more easily. Now the next thing is we need to actually flip this piece of paper. If we just rotated it, the pattern on the paper wouldn't line up properly and it wouldn't look as though it was actually folded. So we're going to flip it and to do that go to Image, Rotate and then down to Flip Layer Horizontal. And now you can see that that layer has actually flipped around and now what we need to do is rotate it so that it's lining up with the fold line on the main piece of paper. So you want to move your cursor so that it's on one of the corners of the little corner piece and your cursor will actually turn into a little curved double headed arrow. Click your left mouse button and hold it down and then just start dragging it around and you'll see the corners start to turn. And this is a little bit of eyeballing to get it lined up properly. I'm going to select that green check mark and now I'm just going to move the corner up so that I'm a little bit closer and now I'm going to zoom in so that I can see a little bit more detail on what I'm doing and we'll get this lined up properly. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit more because it's still not quite lined up and that looks pretty good there. So I'm going to commit that change and then I'm just going to move the corner up so that it lines up with the folded edge and that looks pretty good. So now I don't necessarily need to see the difference between the two pieces of paper anymore so I'm going to go back to my main paper layer, layer 0, and I'm going to bring the opacity right back up to 100%. Now the final step, just to give this a little bit more depth, is to add a bit of a drop shadow. So up here in the effects palette you want to go to your layer styles and select from the drop down list, select drop shadows and the drop shadow that we're going to use is low. So making sure that the corner layer is selected, double click on the low and you'll see now that a little drop shadow has come in. Now it's not quite the way I want it to look yet so I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments. So if you go over to the layer under your layers palette and on the right hand side you'll see this little SX and that indicates that a layer style has been applied to that layer. If you double click on that little icon it will actually give you a style settings box where you can go in and fine tune the settings. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make the shadow just a little bit smaller 
and I'm going to bring the distance back a little bit as well because I want it to be a very small shadow, very subtle. Right about there. Now if I wanted to I could also adjust the opacity of the shadow and that's just how dark or light the shadow is going to appear on the paper. The last thing that I want to do with the shadow is adjust the color. If you look on the right hand side of the style settings dialog box you have a little black box and if you click once on that it'll pop up with a box that allows you to select the shadow color. And what I want to do is have a shadow color that's actually a darker shade of my background paper. So you can see as I move my cursor out onto the paper it turns into the eyedropper and I can now select any of the colors that are in the paper. So I'm going to just select kind of a neutral color there. And now I can grab that and bring it down and I want to turn that into a darker shade of that color. And once I let go of the mouse you can see that the shadow color has now changed so it's a little bit more realistic than having a stark black shadow. So I'm going to click OK on that and then OK on the style settings dialog box. And that is your finished folded corner. For more video tutorials or for information on where you can purchase my digital scrapbooking products, visit www.redleafdigiscrapping.com. Thanks for joining me.